up y'all it's your girl bg and i'm back with another reaction video make sure you like comment subscribe hit the notification bell please do all of that good shit down below so y'all know when i'm gonna hit y'all with another one so anyways for y'all today i got some easy vlogs y'all she dropped this yesterday this is i got robbed unfortunate right um there are a lot of fucking opportunists in the world man and that's what sucks <laughs> There's a lot of messed up, shifty ass people in the world, and it's really messed up, and I'm sorry that this happened to her, but, you know, people suck. <laughs> people suck, alright? Let's just leave it at that. So, I'm not going to hold y'all or myself any longer. Let's just go ahead and see what you're getting into today, y'all. Bro, I never thought I would be the one to get caught slipping on a pippin'. When I tell y'all, like, I was robbed, it was, like, baffling to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. who would have thought? Never, nobody ever thinks, like, oh, yeah, today I'm going to get robbed. You know what I'm saying? But it was freaking annoying as fuck. Like, two of us out of the crew got robbed. Two of us. Like, how? Mm. And I wasn't even that drunk. So, pretty much, as you guys know, it's Pride Month. You know what I'm saying? And uh, my friend mm -hmm. LG literally was hosting west hollywood pride right and you know we all lit we all turned up i filmed that day too i filmed everything i vlogged everything and you know i ran into natalie and it was a little awkward you know what i'm saying because everything that we going through but that's besides the point um we were there we had a whole party bus bro it was so freaking epic we get to west hollywood Sounds it's a like vibe she lg her. she performed she there with um, her. <laughs> her songs it's just like going up right drinking having a great time you know then we go to all of us we go to um across the street there's a place called the abbey it's predominantly male um mm -hmm. like the crowd you know what i'm saying and tell me how we get there and i already known that like i've been to the abbey several times you know what i'm saying and you know when, as soon as we get there it's an issue because stevie doesn't have her id you know what i'm saying and once somebody don't got that id we should already yeah, know how that's, that's gonna go a problem bro every time i go to west hollywood and we try to go to gay bars it's always something you know what i'm saying i feel mm -hmm. like gay men they're either from my experience they're either very sweet very nice or come off like dicks especially at establishments and we were at the abbey luckily for me that every gay man that i have um, ever met has been and it's like dicks, you know what i'm saying we get in right. like come on bro like I'm she forgot saying, id you could tell she's of age she's with us here's all the ideas have come here's across all a real IDs. dickhead yet. and on top of that i knew the security guard we went to school together i'm yet. like yo i went to school with this her. is like, america y'all know how to after like 20 is. minutes he let us in i'm like but they're just doing their job which i understand it's just the way that they go about it bro they go about it like they hate us you know what I'm saying? Like, they just can't stand us. And, like, I don't know. Just the way that I feel about it, I feel like, I don't know. I don't want to speak too much on it. Um, I get canceled or whatever because this generation too fucking sensitive. But either way, there's always an issue every time we go into a gay bar. Anyway, we get in there. It's a cool time. It's a vibe. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, like, popping, popping, but it's pride. So there are more people there than usual because everybody's going to after parties and stuff like that in bars because it's pride so we get there having a cool little time dancing you know there's da uh, go go dancers and all that and you know me and my friend are having a whole conversation at the bar mind you it's way more packed than it usually is so like you know i'm getting bumped here and there people like shot shot shots we're having a good time but nobody's thinking they're about to get robbed right so i'm sitting there at the bar and I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain that this is exactly when it happened. Because I'm sitting on the bar, and you know when you're leaning on, like a bar, you kind of leaning like this, like, you know what I'm saying? You talking, you topping it up, you know what I'm saying? You trying to get the bartender's attention, yeah. you feel me? So it was like one of those. Put my phone's in my back pocket. It's crazy, because I was gonna move it to the front, but I'm never, I've never thought that I would get robbed. So I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, let me, let me capture this moment. My phone's not there. And I'm like, the fuck? And no. I, I see Natalie. You know, I'm like, all right. If anything, even though me and her going through it, she going to look out. So I asked Natalie. I'm like, yo, Nat, like, did you ever have my phone? She's like, no. And I'm like, nah, there ain't no way. Like, I'm not drunk enough to leave my phone anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I know I didn't leave it, but you always got to backtrack. You always got to backtrack. 
So I'm backtracking. I'm like, the last place I had it was literally at this bar. You feel me? So Natalie is going to ask around the crew, like, oh, have y'all seen AZ's phone? And then my friend Kay, LG's girlfriend, is like, oh, let me call it. Like, you know, let me call it. She goes in her purse and she's like, wait, hold up. Where's my phone? Her shit's gone. Gone. They hit two licks in the same fucking crew. Two. How was that possible, bro? Man, and, that's you know, we're trying to ask the security guards, like, yo, can y'all help us, like, look at the cameras, do something, all this other stuff. One of the managers was very helpful, you know what I'm saying? And it was just, like, a whole, it, it made the entire night just feel like, damn, bro, here, it gotta be something to ruin our night. You feel me? It has mm -hmm. to be, it always is something. You know, it can't be, the devil is always uh -huh. working, y'all. The devil is always working, you know what I'm saying? And I got caught slipping, and I never thought I would. You know what I'm saying? Um, we try to get the camera footage or whatever. We try to do the find my iPhone shit. Apple, you know, I love y'all, but it's like, y'all gotta make it, try to make it smarter. It's a fucking smartphone. So, of course, the first thing, <coughs> somebody that steals phones and does this shit, the first thing they're gonna do is take out the SIM card. Mm -hmm. Once the SIM card is out of the phone, the phone is ear is not traceable. Period. As mm -hmm. soon as they, they're like, it's just not. You know what I'm saying? That's like I don't know, like somebody stealing a wallet and then going and using the wallet and then somebody say, "Oh, can we see your ID?" And you're using the person's ID that you stole. You look nothing like them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that was a good analogy, but either way, it didn't it didn't help. You know what I'm saying? And they. You know, I guess they weren't as smart as we thought. But what they did do, I guess before taking the SIM card out, they cut the phone on. They did cut the phone on and then take the SIM card out. So they're dumb. They're dumbass thieves. Yeah. Um, that's what I would do. I'm big to the SIM card. I wouldn't like cut the that. phone on. But they cut the phone on. We have an exact address, exact location of when that, it was like an apartment or something, where they cut the phone on. And both of our phones, me and Kay's phone, were both turned on at the exact same time at 1.25 a.m. So we're like, okay, well, now we got to do our investigative work. If we left the club around 2, the phones was cut on 1.25. The address wasn't even too far from where we was at. Y'all got to take the cameras around this time and this time because that's where y'all where, where going to see the theft. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the fucking robber, you know? <coughs> so we give the bar all of these, like, clues. Like, all right, ain't heard nothing from nothing. Mm -mm -mm. And supposedly what I was told, when we told our friends our phones got stolen and somebody pickpocketed us. And like, oh, where you at? We're like, West Hollywood? I was like, West Hollywood? They're like, oh, you must have been at the Abbey. Oh yeah, they known for that. They they people they get drugged for there all the shit, time. They man. got open cases and all that. I'm like, what? Wow. Cardi B was just there. She probably don't even know that. You know what I'm saying? So that's gonna be my first and last time going back there. But it's just not a good look. I don't ever want to go back there. And on top of it, they don't give a fuck about me. They don't care about my crew. They don't care about my community. And it's and they're a part of the community. You know what I'm saying? So that's what happened. It was literally a sucky situation. K, I felt so bad. Y'all go show love to K. She has some really important videos on there, special videos that were dear to her heart that she can't even get back. Mm -hmm. and I'm just like, damn, like, this fucking sucks, man. Like, they gonna get their karma, you know what I'm saying? And it just really, really sucks. But we got her back on the party bus, and I'm just like, yo, like, we get to the party bus, <clears throat> I'm over there chilling, like, you know, K is emotional. Everybody's like, damn, it's all good. Like, you know, we, we gonna get it, we gonna find it. We ended up turning up, still having a good time afterwards. And was just like, yo, it's materialistic. At the end of the day, everything that's supposed to happen, happened exactly how it was supposed to happen, you know. And maybe it was a setup for them to get caught slipping because we got your address, nigga. Yeah. We got your address. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm just saying, we got your address. But, yeah. Motherfucker would get got. I think it's really messed up. <laughs> I'm just saying. Damn. What do y'all feel? What do y'all think I should have done? Do y'all think I handled the situation good? Got your what else can you do? Too? And I just got this phone, bro. Nice. Brand new phone. iPhone 13 Pro. Paid in full. I'm like, damn, man. At least if you just stole my wallet, I could just cut them cards off and you can't use them. They'll ship them in the mail for free. Y'all done stole my $1,200 phone. Fourteen hundred dollars, mm -hmm. however much that phone cost. I was like, damn. And I recorded everything that night. And with iCloud, and when you got an iPhone, it only backs up 
when you when you last backed up your phone and I didn't back up then so I don't have no recollection or I mean at least visually of what happened that night based That's on what, you know, know what I captured, you know? So it sucks, but I guess it wasn't supposed to happen and y'all had some really juicy stuff, you know. Me and I I pulled up on, you know, Natalie Lee and Cena and we had a little altercation. Check them, you know what I'm saying? But I guess it wasn't meant for the world to see that. You know? But at the end of the day, we seen enough of that. I call like it. <laughs> I just, I just got came and rent this phone. Um, let me know what y'all think and if I handle the situation right. I think it's really messed up that there are people in the world that really are just opportunists, yo, and they will just take advantage of any situation that they can. But to intentionally go out and pickpocket people and do shit like that, man, you just a low life. You know, like that's just all it is. You just a low life piece of shit. Um, and no, I'm not gonna, you know, mince my words with that. I mean, that's exactly what that person is. You want to be around here robbing people. But I'm glad that Easy made this video because y'all know I'm moving to California. I'm moving to Los Angeles. And now I know where not to go, right? Which is the Abbey um, in West Hollywood, y'all. It's just messed up how people are. Um, don't be an asshole. Don't steal from people. <laughs> And yo, she got your address, man. She got your address. All right, gonna come outside and get your head bust down to the white meat. You better ask Bernie Mac. And with that, y'all, <laughs> please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Please do all of that good shit down below. And y'all already know, I'm gonna hit y'all with another one. All right, have a blessed day.